Happy Thursday! Hi everyone, good morning! Thanks for joining us this morning. Yes. Go grab a cup of coffee or tea or whatever your drink of choice is. Hi everyone, Oops. good morning! Thanks for you can only turn it off when it goes This is live. Brittany's <laughs> signature move yes. um, with keeping the, the phone volume on. It gets loud. Um, Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us and make sure, like I said, that you've grabbed something to drink and that you're going to sit Cheers. down and hang out with us for just a little bit. We're excited about today because we're talking about fall decorations and kind of easy DIY projects that you could do. And I stress that, the word easy. Yeah. And that doesn't cost a lot of money. Right. Either. Yeah. We, we like inexpensive. And budget. Yeah. It's budget stuff. Splurge on some stuff and then... Right. Pick, yeah, pick your items other things. Yes. to splurge on. And that's what's so fun about fall is that like nature already gives us a ton of stuff to you. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Yes. I was, where, where is that leaf? I was going to show you, um, here, let me go grab this leaf because I loved the colors that I saw in it. Oh, and the beautiful maple trees right now, they're just bright orange. Love them. I, I think kind of want one in my yard. That's one of our favorite <laughs> things is that, um, hi everyone, thanks for joining. Um, that is what, what's so fun is the, the different colors mm -hmm. that the trees and the- Oh, well, that's beautiful. Trees. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. It's so pretty. And I don't even know if it's translating so well on, right. on the screen, but it's got this like orange and red and just yeah. spots of brown and, um, I walk, I get up early and I walk in the morning and I was walking this morning and I saw it and I had to go back and grab it because it was pretty. Yeah, um, it's like perfect. So today we're going to kind of show you how to do some leaves and, and using the sticks and the things that nature kind of gives us to create a beautiful tablescape for your Thanksgiving dinner yes. or your Friendsgiving dinner, however you guys yeah. <laughs> do Thanksgiving and then just decor around mm -hmm. your house. Yeah. Um, we mentioned this morning if... Um, you guys have fall up. I understand it's a crazy time in life, yes. and so not everybody does the fall decorations. They're lucky to put dinner on the table. Yes. A night. lot of people start in um, October, though. I've seen a lot of vendor friends and just friends in general that I have on Facebook um, posting on Instagram and on Facebook their gorgeous tablescapes or their fall mantles. Oh, um, and I know that some of them are more DIY with added things in. Um, I think that's the fun part too. You can collect yes. little things that you love over the years mm -hmm. and then just mix and match and add them in. Um, I like what, what we've designed today because it's so neutral. It will really go in anybody's house and you can easily add in colors if you want. Um, yeah, like I love like the beachy vibe so I could yes. add like a little sand dollar to this and it would look good because it's still in the same color and scheme. Even your coastal blues yes. and the kind of yeah. sea glass blues yes. you could add in throughout and mm -hmm. then just use the white gourds or pumpkins yes. to kind of. And here's the fun thing guys about um, Brittany and I both love. DIY yes. crafty projects we do the difference between the two of us is that Brittany does it for therapy mm -hmm. I mean it is therapeutic for her yeah, and so very calming it, cathartic it, yeah it centers me it helps me think I yeah and it's probably like leave me alone I've got my alone yes. time so it's yes, probably yeah. nice for you um, and then she'll sell it um, for me if I'm gonna spend the time and, and do it there is like an intentional place in the house yes. or on my property or that I'm going to use it for yeah. something like I'm very intentional about the projects we're that gonna, I do. We're going to have to show in December one of I, your yes. projects because it was fantastic. I was oohing and on over it. Yeah. I've already started my DIY projects for Christmas yes. um, or just time winter. or holiday time. Yeah, because yeah, it's all about snowflakes yes. right now. Because so that, that could be anything. through longer than Christmas yes. for sure, the holidays. See, yes. and that's what I want. I want to put it, if I'm going to put the energy of putting it up, yes. it's staying, guys. For yes. Well, that's why this, it, it can go with Halloween and it, just it can fall. go all through fall. Yes. All through the fall yes. season. So let's, we're going to dive in today. But first, before we do, thank you guys so much yes. for joining us. Um, we would ask before we kind of dive into some of the fun things that we've got going on and, and tricks that we're going to show you, we would love to see your pictures. Yeah. So if you could post below and share whatever corner in your house that may have gotten done with yeah. fall decor. If any. If any. <laughs> we understand. Even if it's a wreath hanging on a door, yes. bravo, high five, you have decorated for fall. We'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah. um, so your mantles or your front porch or 
Mm -hmm. um, the front steps leading into your porch or um, a table, anything, any kind of corner that you want to share with us. We'd love to see it. Mm -hmm. um, we get inspired by those, and we hope today that you'll get inspired by some of the things that we're going to show you. <clears throat> Brittany will probably, in a Brittany. little bit, I guess, yeah, go ahead and grab it. Brittany's going to grab the camera. So everybody put your seatbelts on. We're gonna, <laughs> yes. We're going to try to be gentle um, as we move this camera so that nobody gets sick. But we want to show you some of the fun things. So we love... You got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've we you, you're flipped around. Yes. I'm um, looking at you. Okay. So maybe walk over here, kind of, and behind me, so that sorry, friends. Woo. Okay. okay. Everybody seasick now? Are we good? <laughs> so one of the things that I want to show you today is that we have um, orange pumpkins. You can find them in your supermarket, um, really any kind of local shop. I think that even your um, home improvement stores had them out. So, um, orange pumpkins and they're super cute. Um, however, we like to spruce things up. Now we are spray paint fanatics. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, everything really gets hit with spray paint, um, because we love it and you can make anything out of it. So when I went yesterday, let's just call it like it is. I'm a last minute kind of thing. I was <laughs> shopping last minute. Um, I couldn't find any white and they might not have them or I might not have wanted to put in the energy to drive from store to store to find white, which is where spray paint is so wonderful because these pumpkins came in the same bag and I have spray painted one white and what I love is the metallics right now. Mm -hmm. They're so super hot. So you can do your silvers and your golds and your rose gold and your coppers and um, just fun metallic colors mixed with white and greenery is such an amazing look. It's clean, it's crisp, it's simple, and like um, Brittany was just saying, you can use it all through the fall. It's, it's, um, yeah, and you could use honestly the orange and the burnt colors and the reds as well. Um, I think that I just like a little bit more of a um, metallic look since it's so hot right now. The fun thing is, is that you can get, um, I'm gonna pull. Can you walk over? I'm just going to like pull out one of these. We did have a question. How do you post a picture on live? I'm not sure if they can. If when you go to comment, are you able to like, do they not have a place for it? Hold it. Boo. I don't see it either. Okay. Amanda, thank you for bringing up that question. If you hold your finger on it, will it pop up though? Like where you can paste a picture maybe? See, we learn all the time guys. Let me see. Yeah, you can paste stuff. So I wonder if you saved a picture to your camera roll and then held it down and copied it, if it would paste it. It may not work. Um, sorry about that. That was probably something we should have tested, but it's kind of hard to test prior to going live. Yes. So if it is unavailable now, you should be able to do it later. If not, just post to our wall. We would still love to see your stuff. Um, I'll post some stuff as well that I saw and... Okay, yeah. fun. And we'll send some Pinterest links too because we've got some cards that we want to show you guys in a little bit. So we'll add those. But you can take your natural pine cones and we've just spruced them up with gold spray paint or white spray paint. It's really anything that you have laying around. And again, the look that we wanted to go for were the metallics and the whites. You know what, what they could also use? If you don't have spray paint at home but you are a painter like me um i have gold like gilding wax that's really easy to use you just put it on with a brush and you can just brush it on at the end you have gold yeah. gilding wax <laughs> i add it to like furniture but it would work on there too it would, stick, it would work so. it would work so something that we wanted to, to tell you guys with spray painting the gourds or the pumpkins i wanted to keep we wanted to keep the natural stem and, and then spray paint the rest. So now you can see on the gold, we thought it would be fun to spray paint the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And we're using this particular gourd as a place marker or a, um, a place card for our guest that would be coming to the event or to our Thanksgiving party or Friendsgiving or whatever. Um, you can also really quickly side note in your decor, you can actually write just grateful and gather and thankful family. and family and some of the words and you can use it as your um, centerpiece table runner 
or you can do, like we said, the place cards with the um, gourds, and it's super fun. Loved the gold, but... Do you want to show them how... Well, you don't have to show them, but you can also add the leaf into the pine cone as well, if yes. you would like. There's so many different options. So if you wanted this for a place card, you could put the person's name there. So instead of the pumpkin, these are kind of like a similar idea. Yeah. That would sit at the place or... Um, the pumpkin wood. This is something we're going to talk about in a second, which are some just easy free printables um, from Pinterest that we found that, again, we'll share the link with you later. But fun ideas for your party. So I'm going to set this right here and I'll get back to that. But I want to come back to this spray painted pumpkin. What we did is um, it takes forever to try to tape mm -hmm. the stem, and who's got time for that? We want it to be easy, right? So I grabbed petroleum jelly, and you could grab, um, you know, Vaseline petroleum jelly. I recommend, because it's so tiny right in here, to get a paintbrush, but just quickly painted Vaseline or petroleum jelly on the stem spray painted the whole thing in one fell swoop and waited for this portion to dry and as soon as it was is it was dry I took a paper towel pulled off the vaseline or petroleum jelly and the stem is still natural so it doesn't allow the paint to take and that honestly guys is a fun DIY tip for painting old Anything. boxes or mirrors yeah. where you don't want the metal maybe spray painted but you want the wood spray painted paint the metallic area, the metal that you don't, or any area that you don't want the paint to be absorbed mm -hmm. with Vaseline, and then that will save you from all that detailed taping like mirrors and things yeah. like that. So you, that'll help you avoid that. So there's your, your first tip. Um, let's go to the, the cards real quick. This is just something fun. What are you most thankful for this year? You could put those around the table or the host could even um, at some point go through some of these fun cards and we can share these um, printables. But what is your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? Again, we just found these online. What was your favorite Aww. toy when you were little? It's kind of fun, especially at a Friendsgiving um, where you get your friends together. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Uh, what is your favorite holiday and why? That's kind of fun. Um, I guess mine is uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and this time of year. So when people say um, another holiday, like, you know, if it's Halloween or Valentine's Day or something, it, it kind of always piques my interest. So tell me why that yeah. that's so amazing. So it's kind of provokes conversation, Aww. which I like. Tell us something you're grateful for about that's, the person across from you. That's sweet. So these, these are just fun printables that you can do that kind of... Um, It'll help get your guests talking and getting to know yes. each other better. And thanks for all the love and likes. Yes. Thanks. All right. So we also wanted to show you this craft paper that we went and got. Guys, it is so inexpensive to do at your local craft store. Um, so are you are yes. you getting some of this? Yes. Um, this is just inexpensive craft paper. Um, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, but you can get it at any craft store. And then we took a plate or a charger and just a magic marker. I would say always put something mm -hmm. protective underneath the craft paper because you don't want the bleed onto your actual table. And you may even choose to put a um, protective cover on your table anyway and then place the um, craft paper over that. And that might be um, a smarter route so you don't damage your table with the hot plates from your Thanksgiving meal. But just um, this is another great way to put, put people in certain spots like place cards, if you will. Um, and it kind of is personalized touch that people really, really enjoy. Um, the, another thing that we want to share with you guys is all sorts of things that you can put in cute little canisters. Again, craft stores around your table are the nuts and the dried beans and the corn kernels and candy corn. Um, you can fill this up with anything. Again, we were going for more of a neutral look this um, for this tablescape, and so we just did some holiday nut mix um, in one of these cute like little apothecary jars, which we love. All right, so one other thing, you stay put, Britt, and I'm going to show you guys another fun thing that you can add to your holiday party. Is everybody doing good? Um, anybody got questions, Britt? Yeah. They love our tricks. Yeah. And we had a share. Thank you so much for sharing and our what video. what was the share? 
Allison McPherson shared it. We appreciate that. Oh, yes. And Kimberly Stern just said crayons would give kids something to do while waiting for the meal. With the craft is, paper. Thank yeah, you, Kimberly. That's such a good idea. Yes. And even there, if you wanted to, um, let's say that you put the child's name mm -hmm. at their spot, um, you can draw... Um, you could write right here, I'm thankful for, and, and add sweet. lines. And so those children can write things that they're thankful for, and then the adults can go by and check it later, or the kids can even chat about, I'm thankful for my, my dog or my family or whatever they're thankful for. Mm -hmm. That the kids, it kind of provokes conversation for the children as well. Something fun we also wanted to show you was, we love the, the gourds. Yeah. Isn't that like they call them a Cinderella pumpkin? Oh, yes. That's what her carriage so turns, turns okay, back so into. We are not mm -hmm. that magical. We can't do that. <laughs> um, but we can we can do something really fun with this. It's just not going to be a carriage. Um, something we wanted to show you just as a tip, um, and you might want to zoom in or get mm -hmm. close, Britt, is that... Um, it has this matte, natural matte kind of look to it that we absolutely adore. I prefer this matte kind of filmy, milky quality to the gourd. But if you wanted the color and the texture that really does come out, just a little bit of coconut oil or oil and just polish the pumpkin and it'll actually shine it up. So it really just depends on the look that you want. We prefer this side at least for this season in yes. our lives right yes. now <laughs> for this neutral kind of look we prefer this um kind of opaqueness going on yeah, um, yes so the fun thing with this is you could just throw it in the centerpiece and this would be fun it would yes. be fun it's a, it's a pretty look but this is also something fun you can do it now our gourd is not perfectly even yes darn nature. I love how it's, <laughs> it has made it unique and it is just not going to be um, stable without putting, um, I've got tongue depressors here or craft sticks. You can use that. You can even use a quarter. And hey, if a child finds a quarter later underneath, they're going to be like, we won the lottery. Yes. Um, so just balancing it out with some tongue depressors or like I said, craft sticks. And then setting a really pretty charger on top. And then if you want to get down low so that you can see, it becomes almost like a cake riser or a cake stand or um, just a food riser that you can then put um, whatever item that you wanted to on there. So we love this idea mm -hmm. um, as part of the food display. Some of the tips in remembering when you're doing a, a table design is that, do you want to flip it around, Kate, so you, I mean, um, Brett, so you can come sit with me? We can. You Let don't have me. to. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of the fun things to remember is height um, and texture, and then just personalization. Those are, I think, our three big things, would you say? Definitely. Okay. Yes. Do you want to and I love the, the person. Yeah. Um, coming back to us, guys. Woo, sorry, guys. Perfect. Let's see if anyone is, um, wow, everybody, thank you guys so much for all your, um, it says, hello. That's so funny. I love the, um, the personalization just because it gives you something more to look for and to talk about, um, and it just, guests. it's just fun yeah. to see, like, ooh, it's I like, fun yeah. to see your name. Yeah. Um, or whatever that they've thought about, like, with the, the, where they've thought, to yes. place you so that you can well, see this as somebody. You can write on here family or grateful mm -hmm. or things like that as well. It's a great idea. And use um, the pumpkin as the place card mm -hmm. with it. Um, so texture and height and then personalization. I think those would be our, our big things. So it's great to have some height. We actually, um, and I'm going to do this here. I'll just tell you, you really probably can't see it that far away. But beautiful flowers with just natural sticks that are outside. And what we did was we left some, the natural wood, and then some we spray painted gold. Again, to go with the metallic um, neutral theme. And then this is just fun. I didn't have to buy a ton of flowers. We just bought a few flowers and then added it in with the branches. And if you wanted to, to add this height into the center of your table, then that's awesome. The candles... You'll notice we did a couple of different heights. We did small 
um, pumpkins or gourds mm -hmm. and we did a little bit larger ones and then we've got you know this one and again you could spray paint this we spray paint everything if you mm -hmm. stand still long enough you yeah. will get spray painted <laughs> um, that you could spray paint this and so if you wanted it to be gold with a beautiful charger to go on top um, whatever you wanted to do but what we love is the movement that height provides and then texture the yes. pine cones like we mentioned um, and then we just went outside and cut yeah, some and extra branches. Eucalyptus is really big too. Eucalyptus. So that's, I've seen that. It's so beautiful. And it smells so yes. good, so good. So that uh, that's another fun thing that could provide um, a good smell. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. I need you to come decorate my house. Maybe an extension of Emily Weddings, Emily Home Design. Uh, oh. I'm all we over are that. all over that. I'm all over it. I, I would <laughs> love to show you guys. We um in my house, I took an old door and then created a master, a king bed um, headboard. Headboard. It's beautiful. And it's uh, it just the door was the inspiration, and then I created the headboard out it of it. And store bought. Like, oh, I remember you sweet. doing it and then seeing it in person. I was like, this is really good. Yeah, I'll have to show really it to you good. guys. And then I got a dresser. Um, somebody was giving away a dresser and said, hey, do you want this? So I got it for free. But I turned it into a, an apothecary table, um, which is something fun. Mm -hmm. And we've turned our kitchen table that was that old orange wood. You know what I'm talking about? Like that. Like my floors were. Oh, not good. <laughs> um, and turned it into a white and deep stained like farm table. So I love home projects. So Mary Beth, we will come to your house. Yes. And we will decorate it. It's one of our favorite things. Everyone paints. that knows me well knows I do as well. I find lots of stuff to paint. Um, so Amanda asked, how long do you think that eucalyptus or outdoor leaf branches would last? Eucalyptus is one of those that like keeps kicking. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep kicking. Even if the smell is no longer there, it doesn't. Um, it dries. It dries yeah. and it still dries that like sagey green um, color. So eucalyptus is, is an easy one to keep around forever. It depends on what outdoor branches you bring in as to how um, quickly they start to die off. Yeah. So I would say maybe Google or look it up, search. Yes. Well, and these don't have leaves on them, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I would say if they're still alive, like if you break it off a tree or something, um, the It'll leaves will, if they there's crack. leaves on it, it'll wither. But a lot of the sticks you find just on the ground or, you know, around your yard that you pick up, they're usually already dead. So you won't really have that problem. And they usually don't have a lot of leaves on them. But we have some pretty leaves here that we spray painted. And so the like acorns here's, are here's your everywhere option. this year. My if, grasses. If you're green, if you can't go out that morning and just cut a few or the night before and cut a few, then let's say you've picked them early and they've started to turn. You can see this kind of, they're dried and mm -hmm. it's become um, a softer green. Um, you can spray paint them if you want to. And so I did, of course I did gold or metallic right now um, yes. as decorating. So really the sky's the limit with that. Yay, Amanda says. Jen, thanks for joining. What were, I feel like we showed this at one of the other ones where you could take a leaf um, that's painted or even not painted, but it, it probably needs to be dry unless you're actually going to paint it on with a paintbrush. And... Um, use those as your place cards as well or just to say fun things and you know the pop of gold and with the greenery and stuff is so fun yeah i was going to say our, our big thing right now like the big connection for us is this natural color um craft paper mm -hmm. as as kind of the foundation and then white and metallics and greens and some natural is just a real classy mm -hmm. classy look but um if you are a Even blacks like, you could have black and, you know, write the name in white. That would be pretty and it would bring in the white, Ooh, like, chalkboard it. stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Super fun. Guys, we could talk for hours <laughs> on decor because we love design. We love decor. We love um, easy DIY projects. Um, like I said, when we used the Vaseline on the um, pumpkin, we wanted to keep the stem natural, and so we just painted it with Vaseline. We spray painted the whole thing, and then once the, the base of this was dry, we just wiped off the petroleum jelly, mm -hmm. and the stem was natural. And so that's our quick, don't spend hours taping, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Should I give another tip if they don't have Vaseline? Yes. You can just use an old candle, um, and Ooh. the wax from the candle might be hard on that, um, particular. but if you want to spray paint something and you don't want something to be painted, you can use a um, candle wax yeah. and just 
candle wax. Wow, so that's well. great. See, Brittany, this is why I keep you around. You're just <laughs> so full of good stuff. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we would love it if you can't, for some reason, post pictures below to the live feed. This is our first time wanting pictures. Yes. I think that we will contact Facebook and tell them to add this feature <laughs> because I think it's a brilliant feature. Um, but to add your pictures to the feed, if you can't do that after we are live, then um, just post them to our Emily Weddings wall. Mm -hmm. We'd love to see your projects. We'd love to see what you're up to. Um, even if it's the picture of a wreath or um, just the way you've set up your mantle or something. Yes. We adore this kind of stuff. So, so thanks for the love and the likes, guys. We see it. Um, thanks for sharing. That was yes. really fun. Nice. We appreciate it. Um, guys, again, this is um, we're the Emily Weddings team. This is <laughs> Eye on Events, our Facebook live show where we are live every Thursday morning at 1040 in the morning till 11. Um, we're a little over right now so we will hurry up and get off you can find us on social media everywhere Emily Weddings um, and we'd love to see you guys back here next Thursday we have mm -hmm. Antonia Christensen back she she and I are going to share with the yeah. Emily Weddings team yes the four steps to obtaining balance mm -hmm. so um, we're going to go over how to obtain balance in your life um, which I think we could all use right Some good tips Some and tricks good stuff yes. so um, again show us your pictures post them on our wall um, thank you guys for having coffee with us this morning we really Cheers. appreciate it and you guys go and have a great Thursday yes a good long weekend woohoo